If you're into fly fishing, then you absolutely understand the importance of being properly equipped. So I wanna to talk to you about lenses, stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today, I'm going to be covering the best polarized lens colors for fly fishing. All of these lenses are going to be polarized. Of course, that is hugely important, and I'm sure that you already know that, but if you're unaware of everything that polarized is and what it does, we have other videos. We can put a link in the description for you. All of them are also going to be very contrast enhancing, especially for lower light conditions, because with fly fishing, it can be such a mix of environment and light. So we know that generally you want more light rather than less light, but absolutely need contrast enhancement because it's gonna make it easier to spot and track those fish. Hydrophobic coatings as well is a really important aspect because you want to repel those unexpected splashes or sweat, giving you distraction-free vision. All of these also are Rxable, except for one, unfortunately. I will mention that. Reach out to our opticians if you want any help. If there is anything that I haven't gone over that you wanted gone over, we would love to hear from you. If at the end of this you're ready to order, do not forget about our See Better Guarantee. With that, you have a ton of peace of mind. It allows you up to 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription to try them out. If you have any issues, you let us know. We take care of you. Really, really solid program that you should take advantage of if you're ever worried about buying glasses online. Talk to us at Sporter X. Also, like I mentioned, our opticians, they can help you get it right the first time. All right, let's talk lenses. We'll start with Costa because we can't talk about fishing without talking Costa. And this is their green mirror in the Fantail Pro. One of my most favorite frames coming out of Costa. It's a little bit newer and one of my favorite lenses. This is one of the darkest on the table. It's uh, about 10% VLT, so it definitely is blocking a lot of light. But thanks to that green mirror lens, which has a copper base, you're getting a lot of warm amber visual experiences. It is going to help with that contrast enhancement considerably. And that green mirror is gonna help to block a little more light transmission. So if you're familiar with Costa's lineup, there's just a straight copper, or you can get the green mirror, which has the copper and the mirror, the mirror coating on the front. And the mirror coating on the front is gonna help to block that much more light transmission. So when you are out in brighter, sunnier conditions and fly fishing, this is amazing. It is absolutely an angler favorite because it works in a variety of light conditions. Yes, it's pretty dark. However, it is, thanks to that contrast enhancement, something that is going to work better in some more medium light conditions, better than a typical gray lens would. Of course, you're getting Costa's 580 lens technology that we all know and love, which is obviously going to protect your eyes from UV, 99.9% .9 of glare, and it is available in glass or polycarbonate, both in prescription. Next up, we have Maui Jim's HCL Bronze, and we are modeling that in the Twin Falls here. HCL stands for High Contrast Lens. So, of course, you know this is going to give you a ton of contrast. It's going to give you a warm wash of tint. It is a unique bi-gradient mirror, which is more mirrored on the top, more mirrored on the bottom, less mirrored in the middle, which is really cool. The concept behind that is like it's the lens is sort of squinting for you. Really solid obviously optical quality. Because of that, the VLT is a little bit tough. And this is why if you've noticed with Maui Jim, if you are the kind of person that cares about VLT numbers, why they are so ambiguous and they just say that it is a category one, two, or three. Well, it's because of how differently the different areas of the lens light transmitting through it will transmit through it. The bi-gradient setup is 12%. The gradient setup is about 19%. So you have about a range of 12 to 19%, depending on then also other factors like the material that you get. If you go with the polycarbonate or the Maui Brilliant, or if you go with their Maui Pure lens, all of these things can have a little bit of an effect. Uh, but keep in mind that this is designed to work in a wider range of light conditions. So it will be good in brighter conditions, but also a little better than those really dark lenses 
in lower light conditions. Of course, you're also with Maui getting that polarized plus two lens technology. Of course, that is also gonna block 99.9% .9 of glare and is available in the plastic materials. There are glass options out there as well. Uh, and they're of course gonna have the hydro and oleophobic coatings, backside and air reflective coating to reduce glare even further. Amazing lenses, everything is top shelf with Maui. Next up, we have another Costa. This is a unique lens and probably a little less well known. It is called their Sunrise Silver Mirror Lens, being modeled in the Blackfin. If you like fishing early mornings or around dusk, you're gonna love this lens. Really bright, lets a lot of light through 30% VLT. Definitely the brightest on the table. It'll allow three times more light than your standard lens, but still fully polarized, which is amazing. It has a yellow base, so it's gonna boost contrast like crazy. That silver mirror is gonna help to reflect a little more light transmission back. Uh, the other benefit of a mirror coating, which I've gone over in other videos, uh, it helps with a thing that I call ambient glare. So light coming in at harsh angles is going to reflect back more readily. And that tends to be less usable light anyway. So I think that there's a huge benefit to having that mirror coating here, of course. And obviously the 580 lens technology, this is only, however, available in the poly in prescription and probably only available in the plastic. I don't think this is available in the glass, even in non-prescription, but a really cool lens. Next up, we have Oakley. This is the Prism Shallow Water Lens being modeled in the Clifton. Fun frame choice here because this was designed more for... Uh, mountaineering or climbing, but I actually think this would be a pretty cool frame for fly fishing as well. You get a lot of protection and coverage. Anyway, we're talking about lenses here. No, we're not talking about frames. The Prism Shallow Water is the only one on this table that is not RXable. You cannot get this in prescription. I would, I will say yet, but it's been out for a long time and it still is not available in prescription. This is one of the lenses that we're most looking forward to eventually coming into prescription availability, but who knows when or if that'll ever happen. But as the name suggests, this is designed for shallow water. They made it easy for us. This has a rose copper base and a greenish mirror. It's gonna help to boost greens and coppers. It's gonna help to keep those whites bright, which is gonna make it easier to spot and track fish. That's what we're looking for. The VLT on this is 15%, so it's kind of more on that mid range. It will be okay in brighter conditions. Definitely gonna be a little better in those lower light conditions or those overcast conditions, uh, but not as good in true, true overcast because that 15% is still kind of fairly dark. The Oakley Prism and HD Polarized Lens Tech is going to offer you maximum sun protection and glare reduction, of course, because they're polarized, because it's, it's Oakley. They do things well, they do it right. And last but not least, we have Smith, the Chromapop Polarized Brown, and here we're modeling it in the Barra. This is a brown base. It has a warm effect. It is about 14% VLT, that light transmission. Uh, this doesn't have any mirror coating on the front. And with that Chromapop lens tech, it is going to help to remove the confusing light in the color spectrum. You're going to get sharper, more vivid color experience. You're gonna reduce eye fatigue, give you a little more comfortable vision. This does also have hydro and oleophobic coatings and a backside and reflective coating. It is also available in prescription. Really, really good lens. A lot of people that love Smith really love Smith because of that Chromapop lens tech. It's great. So that wraps it up for our need to know list of the best lenses for fly fishing. I hope that this was enlightening to you. I hope I didn't give you information that you already knew. I hope that maybe you're a little more equipped to get the right pair for you, probably the perfect pair. And if you are, again, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about that See Better Guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind and if peace of mind is your thing, our opticians, we're still here. We're still waiting to hear from you because we'd love to help you get it right the first time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check it out because I think you'd like it. I wouldn't recommend it otherwise. I wouldn't.